very much. Well, good morning, everybody. I can't think of a more appropriate place uh, to talk about the subject of immigration than beneath the white cliffs of Dover, Dover being the gateway to England. Um, this subject of immigration goes right to the heart of the public's disillusion with politics and politicians. It is all about trust. Now, five years ago, uh, David Cameron said in his contract with Britain, in his manifesto, that he would reduce immigration into Britain to 1990s levels, i.e. back to tens of thousands a year, not hundreds of thousands a year. Now, I think the public can live uh, with promises being broken. You know, after all, circumstances change and people understand that. But there is a specific problem with that promise that David Cameron made, and indeed with the promises he's still making today, and they're being made by Labour, and they're being made by the Lib Dems, and it's simply this. When Cameron made that promise, he was being willfully dishonest, because he knew the truth, and I think now the British public, five years on, know the truth, that you actually cannot have an immigration policy. You can't set targets of any kind at all. You can't attempt to control who comes into Britain, all the while you're members of the European Union. And we're in a political union with total free movement of people, with nearly half a billion people, including 10 former communist countries, in which, in some cases, the minimum wage is a tenth of what it is in this country. Added to that is the Eurozone crisis. Youth unemployment rates in Spain and in Greece at over 50 per cent, and no sign to the end of the crisis. And what I'm really saying is this, that if the public are to be re-engaged with politics, if they are to trust the politicians, then before they even listen to a policy that anybody puts out on immigration, there is a basic truth that has to be accepted. And I very much hope uh, on the debate on Thursday night that I will get it accepted, though I'm skeptical. And that is, we cannot control immigration as members of the European Union. And that gets right to the heart, really, of what UKIP is about as a party. We want a different relationship uh, with Europe. We can't see it today. Normally, you can, actually, from here. Uh, we want a different relationship, one that is based on trade, but not membership of political union. I've no doubt we'll hear from the Conservatives, who, having rejected the idea of a referendum all through 2012, are now saying they want one. Well, I think perhaps they've been pushed into saying that. But I've no doubt we'll hear, as part of the renegotiation, that free movement of people is up for grabs, but it isn't. And Donald Tusk, the permanent president of the European Council, my friend Mr Juncker, the president of the European Commission, and most important of all, Angela Merkel, the real boss uh, of the European Union, have made it clear this is not even up for negotiation. So my message to the British people is if you want an honest debate about immigration, you've got to get a good number of UKIP MPs into Westminster next time round, because we're the only people that will tell the truth. And by the way, we are not being negative about this subject, far from it. We believe that once we've re-established border controls, the putting into place of an Australian-style point system would actually give us the ability to control both the quantity and, yes, the quality of who comes to Britain. We would not be discriminating against people from India and New Zealand in favour of Romania, Bulgaria and elsewhere. And I think if we got immigration back to normality, and by that I mean the kind of numbers we saw from 1950 until nearly the turn of the century, then I think the issue of immigration would disappear. But for now it won't. And it is the number one issue. If you, if you, if you look at all the opinion polls, the number one issue concerning people are the effects of immigration on their lives. Wage compression, which means people on average salaries are no better off than they were five or ten years ago. The impact on primary school places, the impact on accident and emergency, the difficulty many now have in even getting a GP appointment, and the change in our communities that has left many people in our towns and cities, frankly, finding it difficult to recognise the place as being the same as it was 10 to 15 years ago. Yes, we are making immigration the central part of our general election campaign, linked in to our membership of the European Union and the need to get enough UKIP MPs into Westminster to force a referendum as soon as we possibly can on Britain's membership of the European Union. Thank you very much.